Oh, oh shit, wrong one. Okay, let's get back. So, broken wristwatch. That has. What the fuck does that have to do with anything here? Actually, still alive. No, it is impossible. Is that it? Hifumi was dead. We do know that shortly you heard the body discovery. Hifumi's dead body and that. I think that's it. Maybe. Really? I feel like that other thing that I've clearly stated would have been the obvious answer as well. Shit, guys, I found Hifumi in there. There's a chance he was actually still alive. No. It is impossible. Hifumi was dead. I do know that. How? Shortly, you heard the body discovery announcement. Along with the rest, Hifumi's dead body had been found. Okay, so it's not that. So I'm not being paranoid right now. It's okay, I got plenty of chances, but... Also, my iPhone's almost dying. Hold on a minute real quickly. I'm gonna charge it so that I can see the timer. Alright. Okay, okay. Whatever, just missed that. It's charging, okay. Okay, what the fuck am I doing wrong here? Uh... Are you saying that when we first found Kifum in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? No. It is impossible was dead. Without a doubt, and you know that how? Sure, you heard the body discovery announcement. Along Hifumi's dead body had been found. Dead body had been found. That is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Is that it? I think that's the only thing that I haven't done yet. I'm trying to do that. Wait, is it really the other way around? It is impossible. Either versions would have worked. Surely you heard the body discovery announcement. He can use dead body and that is why are we really so sure? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Is it really that? Because either one would have worked. It's so obvious. I've been so I'm on the right track. It's just apparently I put it on the wrong order. But they're both meaning the exact same thing though. Not this one. No, obviously not that one. Oh my god, that is total bullshit. I call fucking bullshit on this one. This is legitimately the only. Wow, that was stupid. I did this correct thing, but apparently the game thinks that even though it's the exact same fucking explanation, I did it wrong somehow. There's only one way. What the fuck? Was the body discovery was made to really intend for Hifumi? Yeah, the dead body was discovered. I'm trying to count. I'm trying to also build onto that uh, statement as well with fucking Kyoko's explanation. So why is that considered wrong? Of course uh. it was. The announcement played. That was stupid. He discovered his body. Maybe. I'm gonna really complain about that one. It's like that was like the one thing that really stupid. That was really stupid in my opinion. Like. No, no, that's not even a thing. That's a fucking fact. I know that's a very bold statement, but that should have been either war. It should have been vice versa. Both both statements contradict each other, so both should have worked regardless. But no, apparently I'm supposed to do her last statement on his, her other last statement. Ugh, whatever. Okay, you want know rant over? Continue on with the game. Right. It wasn't long after finding his body that we heard the announcement. So there's a good chance we've made a mistake in there somewhere. I think we've confused whether the announcement was for Hifumi or Taka. First of all, if two bodies had been found, there really should have been two announcements. Maybe Monokuma simply got lazy and rolled them together into one. No, nope, there was a second announcement when Hifumi actually died. What do you say, Monokuma? Any comment? Well, it's a very sensitive issue, so I can't go into too much detail. But what I can say about the body discovery announcement is that it's only broadcast when three or more people find a dead body for the first time. That didn't answer our question, man. We're asking if you're a lazy He boat. did announce it a second time, just saying. Uh, actually, that was plenty. Huh? He said it's only broadcast when a body is discovered for the first time. Which means, even if we find the same body again later, he won't make the announcement again. If that's true, then why was the announcement made again later on? Again? That's what I- yeah. Exactly. We heard the body discovery announcement twice. Second body discovery announcement. The first time was played when was when we found each body in the nurse's office and the equipment room. The second time was when Natoku was unconscious when both bodies were discovered. Just after Hifumi came back to life. Are you really sure that was it? Think hard. What? The second. What? Wait. What? Huh? Wasn't that it? 
or... Wait, fuck, I'm confused. Wait a minute, was it, wasn't it after Hufumi just came back to life and then died, or... Because it... I don't remember if it was during both bodies' discovery now. Hold on a minute. When Toko was found unconscious, that's not it. When both bodies were rediscovered? I got it! I thought we heard it a second time in the repository when we rediscovered the two bodies. Really? Well, if that's the case, then why the fuck did Ifumi say something? Or is he really just a ghost or something? What the fuck? The body has been discovered after a certain- okay? It didn't seem weird at the time, but it contradicts what Monokuma just told us, doesn't it? Exactly. If we were actually rediscovering both bodies, the announcement shouldn't have played. And in reality, when the two dead bodies were rediscovered, one of them was actually being discovered for the first time. So, when we found Hifumi the first time in the nurse's office, he wasn't actually dead yet. Meaning, he wasn't actually found dead until we came upon him in the repository. And that's just part of it. There's one other thing that leads me to believe he was still alive in the nurse's office. Oh, the glasses and the uh, wiping it off. Shut up. We're gonna play dead. Shut the fuck up. I have ever heard. You know, I'm gonna have to agree with Celeste, even though I think she's the murderer in this case right now. That was stupid. I do not think there's anything that can prove he was still alive. Yes, okay, there is. Then. Let's take another look at the events surrounding the discovery of his body. Then it should become clear whether he was really alive or not. This whole thing is pointless. Celeste, you're really pinpointing the idea of... Yasuhiro being the murderer in this case, but... Also, yeah, why didn't everyone just vote for Yasuhiro? Why me? What the fuck- what the fuck do I have to do with anything? At least with the first case, it makes sense, but... Uh, well, they really need to fix that. Alright, he threw his glasses. Obviously, that's the evidence. Okay. And then, while me and Celeste were in the bathroom, his body disappeared! Shit! Fuck, that- okay. We saw his body. It was in the repository. But when you compare his body before being moved, and his body after being moved, other than the change in how it was positioned, there was no notable difference. Yes, there was, but in case, just in case. Was he really still alive? Of course not. It is impossible. This is ridiculous. You're getting really irritated, Celeste. Well, here's one thing to do. The first time we found his body, from his body disappeared. And the next time, we... oh, well, it doesn't matter anyways. But when you compare his body before the moon, other than the change in how it was positioned, there was no notable difference. There we go. No, no this case is not really going up to my expectation compared to the previously fact, two cases. There was one clear difference between Hifumi and the nurse's office and the repository. I'd say it's easier than the second case, but there was also some bullshit moments as well that made me somehow get fucked up by the game's programming. And, but anyways, that yeah, here we go. Proves that he was only playing dead. Yeah, it seems like all the murders and stuff were pretty damn obvious once we get all the custom, all the um, evidence pointed in, all the realizable thinking, or whatever, but, oh yeah. When we found he Hell, even the puzzle with office, the hangman's gambit was also the easiest one out of everyone else. The second one, that was pretty bullshit, but at the same time, at least it was related to the case. Despite the fact that we had no idea what the fuck the word was. But when we found him again later in the repository, they were spotless. And, I found the item he used to wipe them clean in the nurse's office trash can. The evidence I found in the trash can in the nurse. Okay. Where is it? No, that's not it. There it is. I got it! It was a glass. Oh, I'm gaining back my HP. Mascot. That's good. One look at the blood stain on the cloth should make things clear. This piece of cloth was used to wipe Ifumi's glasses clean. And the mascot on the cloth is the same one that's on the digital camera, right? And whose digital camera was it? Kifumi's, of course. The character was... Princess Priggles. From Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. <laughs> I highly doubt anyone but Kifumi would have brought something like this to school. I see your point. 
And the only people here who wear glasses are... I wouldn't be caught dead using a <laughs> piece of garbage like that. A few tissues is all I need to keep my glasses clean. Then there's no question. It belonged to him too. Mm. Mm. So what you're saying is... What exactly? He woke up from being unconscious, cleaned his glasses, and walked to the third floor. What I'm saying is, the blood on his glasses was wiped away using his own glasses cleaning cloth. Even if that is true, it does not mean he wiped the blood off himself. But who would benefit from a clean pair of glasses other than the glasses owner? That is true. That's really the only reason why you would clean a pair of glasses if you own them. That's a good point. Why else would the pair of glasses be clean? It must have been him, right? Yeah. So let's assume there's no that other reason. He's still alive in the nurse's office. Let's not assume it happened. He Without a doubt. Dead. Then when he's alone, he wipes his glasses clean so he can see. Then he stands up and walks out on his own two feet. And with that, the impossible task of moving his copious corpse becomes possible, wouldn't you say? But then, if he was just pretending to be dead... What was with all that blood? Was it pain or something? No, it's probably... Did, he probably did get hit. Maybe he's just a little bit unconscious or something? The fridge in the nurse's office contains packs of blood... That is true, pieces. too. He probably used one of those. Maybe. He figured if he was gonna play dead, he should go all out. So his buddy got crazy with it and had... And if Kifumi was still alive at that point, the disappearance of Taka's body is easily explained. But what's with the hammer number three? That's what I want to fucking... That... Thank God, that hammer thing is gonna really fuck me over. It should be perfectly obvious who must have moved Taka's corpse. The one who moved Taka's body was... Taka himself? No, that's not obvious. Sakura? Why the... F my God! It's obviously Hifumi. <laughs> yeah, even like the multiple questions thing, they give us so obvious answers. Fucking Illuminati, what the fuck? While we were all gathered in the nurse's office, he went to the equipment room and took Taka's body. That also explains how the door to the repository got locked. The door was locked? Well, after the bodies disappeared, we all went looking for them, right? So me and Sakura headed for the repository. But when we got there, the door was locked. And the repository door can only be locked from the inside. Which means when Hina and Sakura... That sounds like very bad for you. Someone was already inside. Architecture, if you ask me. It could only Why would you lock them from the inside? We just finished stashing Taka's body there. He convinced us all he was dead. And when he saw his chance, he dragged Taka's body to the repository. So, Hifumi wasn't just another victim in this case. He was one of the assailants. But that means he took part in the murders. What? I just can't believe it. He would willingly kill himself to what? Oh, oh, I think I know why. Yep. Yep, Celeste, you're you're guilty. If you're having trouble, would you like me to show you one more piece of evidence? Go ahead. There's more? Oh, absolutely. The single biggest fact pointing to his involvement has yet to be revealed. You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The item he took off of Taka's lifeless body? That being the foot. Okay. Where is it? My God! You're talking about the note Kifumi had hidden away, aren't you? Hidden note? That's right. We found it stuffed in his pants. What? In his pants? Don't go deep into that idea, okay? Yes, his pants. Okay, it's very well, straight for- about the pants for now. Take a look at what the note says. I found a hole maybe you can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so tell no- tell, Don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet at the equipment room at 6 a.m. And whoever has his handwriting, from what I see, is the same one with the blueprints, maybe? That's the note I was telling you about. The one that told me where to go. Huh? Wait, this one's a little different. In my note, it said, Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. I see. Then this note isn't the same one Hero got. It's not the same? In other words, the killer got in touch with another person besides Hiro, and that person could only have been- <laughs> Hifumi's pants! God damn it. Thanks for these obvious answers, guys. Taka! 
The killer used this note to draw out Taka and murder him. Hello? Oh, I don't really Shut understand up. what's going on, but he, so whoever wrote it wasn't drawing out TikTok. They were drawing out... Um, just to be clear, TikTok is talking... Shut up. Yes! That's scary. She's just fucking annoying is all. God, I hate... Can't we just get back to Toko? I actually at least... Shut up! Rather than being this annoying, fuck. Oh god, oh my god, that's a lot of bullets. Okay, okay, okay. Glasses, cleaning cloth, Yubumi's glasses, and broken wristwatch. Holy shit, that's gonna be a lot of bullets. But they have the note, right? Okay. <clears throat> then the person it was intended for must have been happy. How do I switch the note again? Lap bumper, got it. What time did it say to me? Broken wristwatch. Okay, so that relates to that, right? Okay. Time doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. The note has nothing to do with TikTok. Bitch, it does. No, Why wow, I'm saying so nonchalantly. Bitch, it does. There we go. I gotta work on my voice acting more often, huh? All right, 16 minutes. No, we could go a little bit more. Is a connection. What? what the hell are you talking about? Bitch, shut the fuck up. Let me take care of this courtroom business right now. All right? You've already proven that using his wristwatch, but there's more. Look where the note says to meet. The equipment room, right? Which is where Taka was killed. I see. So, Taka was murdered at both the time and place written in the note. I think that should be plenty to show that this note was definitely meant for Taka. Hmm. Well, when you put it like that... No further objections! <laughs> then someone used that note to trick Taka. Just the same as me. <sighs> The culprit really is a cold-blooded monster, telling people they found a way out. But if they gave the note to Taka, what was Hifumi doing with it? Stuck down his pants, no less! <laughs> Most likely, Hifumi stole it off Taka's corpse after he died. Huh? He stole it? He's the accomplice. Maybe he killed Taka and... And Celeste killed Hifumi. Where's your proof? Go ahead, show us. Oh shit, right. We need proof for that. Proof that Hifumi stole the note from Taka. Well, the only th idea is, um, the scrap of paper. That's really the only thing I could think of right now. But at least I was right. I searched Taka's body. I saw that his life was- What do you mean, I searched Taka's body? Wasn't it fucking Kyoko that searched? If I'm right about this, the sheet of paper this piece came from is- and we didn't actually think about combining these two pieces of paper before? I knew it! It fits perfectly with the note we found hidden on Hifumi! Okay. And Taka's scrap and Hifumi's note. Yup, they're from the same piece of paper. Hifumi had the note meant for Taka, while Taka's corpse still grasped a small piece of that note. There is only one way to explain it. Taka died clutching the note. Ifumi tried to free the note from his death grip, leaving behind only one small scrap. Did I get all that right? That means Hifumi knew the note was important. Exactly. Which proves that he was an accomplice in the murder. Whoa. Yeah. After seeing all this, Hifumi was super involved in this whole thing for sure. In fact, he was behind the whole thing. In fact, he... <laughs> <laughs> Yasuhiro, don't. Sorry. No. That's impossible. We definitely had the... When we found him in the repository, Hifumi was truly and completely dead. The announcement, the remember. The discovery announcement proves that. So then, who killed Hifumi? Whoever did is the mastermind. The true killer. He was killed in the repository. So he must have been killed not long after transporting Taka's body. So, he must have been killed after Taka's body vanished, but before we found both bodies in the repository. During that time, we'd all split up and were searching for Taka's missing body. In other words, during that time, none of us have alibis. Wait, but me and Sakura were together. Stop trying to steal the spotlight, you school you call it a- Anyway. Uh, can we just get rid of the pointless dialogue, please? It's not funny, it's just annoying. And what might that be? In other words, get the fuck out of here, fucking Toko. The weapon they used to kill Hifumi. Anyways, oh uh, yeah, so yeah, the weapon they used to kill Hifumi, the hammer. The weapon? Yeah, because I mean, 
According to the Monokuma file, the way Taka and Hifumi were killed was almost the same, with them having similar fractures and all. But Justice Hammer 3 and 4 were still laying around in the nurse's office and equipment room, right? That is true. So if Hifumi was killed in the repository, the culprit would have had to grab one of the hammers, kill Hifumi, then put the hammer back where they found it. Or use a separate hammer entirely. Yeah, seriously risky for him? No, there's one that's completely I'm cleaned surprised. off. It seems there's some semblance of a brain knocking around that skull of yours after all. Hell yeah! It's <laughs> there good and tight. God damn it, hero. Right though. I don't understand it either. The Monokuma file makes it clear that they were killed using similar instruments. But if the hammers were already laying around those other rooms... So the question is, how could the culprit have gotten their hands on either of the hammers? Personally, I haven't a clue. So which hammer was used to attack Celeste? Number one or number two? Number one? Those were accounted for in other rooms too. And I don't think either one is big enough to kill someone. Um... Then... Uh... Is it not possible they used a different weapon? That is true. I think it is possible. They were both killed with the same kind of thing, right? So then... No, we don't have to keep with this mindset, Ifumi. okay? The weapon that actually killed Ifumi. The whole picture surrounding the case won't be clear until the next episode of Danganronpa. Stay tuned! Sorry for... Uh, this amount of cliffhangers. I just probably just want to get this episode done out of the way before I'm getting a lot of dislikes from the previous statement of me trying to do the vice versa thing. Anyways, whatever. Be right back, just because I said negative of the game. Guys, I still love the game, okay? Don't worry!